Hello, I'm Tristan from Smart Home Point. Some people wonder whether any smart plugs exist on the market that can be controlled with a physical remote. Alongside all the usual voice and app control, the smart functionality that you'd expect from all smart devices. And the answer is yes, you can get such a product or set of products. But before going on to this and showing how you can do this, you might be wondering why you actually need a physical remote with a smart plug. After all, if it's smart, why use some old fashioned remote? Play, play music, on. It just no worky, play. <laughs> but if you're in a room without a smart speaker and your smartphone isn't nearby, a physical remote is actually really useful and convenient because it allows you to easily turn the plugged in device on and off. Plus, it's kind of nice to sometimes have a physical backup if your internet goes down. Anywho, going back to smart plugs which support a physical remote, I'm now going to say something that no one has ever said before in the history of the entire world. Yes, Philips Hue is the cheapest option by far. That's right. Philips Hue actually wins the day here. As I'll show in this video, whilst there's a few different options available to you, Philips Hue is generally the cheapest. Now, before I go any further, I should point out that a smart plug can be controlled with your voice, with phone apps, with automated schedules, and a whole load more. If all you want is to turn an outlet on and off with a remote, well, you can already buy these. They usually cost less than $20, as you can see on the screen here. They're simple RF, radio frequency based technology. They've existed for ages and they work really well. So if you want that, buy that. But if you want a smart plug with all the extra smart features that this offers, but you also want a physical remote alongside this, you may be thinking that you're out of luck. If you've just done some quick Googling or quick Amazon search, you may not have found this uh, solution. Fortunately, there are a few options open to you as I show in this video. Firstly, as I hinted at earlier, Philips Hue is actually one of the best and most versatile options here. This is because they sell a smart plug whilst also selling a range of Hue accessories, such as the motion sensor and the dimmer switch. And this is basically a remote control. It has on and off buttons after all. Now, if you look at the Philips Hue smart plug manual, and yes, I'm weird, I still actually read manuals for these things, you can clearly see on the screen that it does work with the dimmer switch which is option C at the bottom. But you can also pair it with the Hue bridge, which is option B. Now, option C basically involves not having a Hue bridge at all, and instead pairing the dimmer switch, the remote, directly with the Hue smart plug via Zigbee, just like you could do with uh, light bulbs up to 10 devices. Now this directly uses Zigbee, and whilst it's cool, it basically makes the Hue smart plug non-smart. Unsmart? Whatever the word, it's no longer a smart plug if all you do is use this. You may as well go out and buy one of the $20 RF remotes that I shown you and smart plugs that I shown you earlier. So going back to option B, as you can see on the screen here, this works really well. I plugged my Hue smart plug in, I added a new device within the Hue app. It then takes a few seconds and it should appear in the Hue app. Once it appeared, I went over to my already configured and already set up dimmer switch and I set it to control my smart plug. It was all really simple really seamless and it works really well. Okay, so if I pick up the dimmer switch, the Philips Hue dimmer switch, you can see the laptop is on. And if I click the off button, it goes off. So you can see that from the red LED and it's no longer charging my laptop. If I click on, then it comes back on there and my laptop starts charging again. And it works really easily. Off is off and obviously on really quickly comes back on as well. Awesome. Well done, Philips Hue. <laughs> it's weird, whenever I compliment Philips Hue, I feel like I should hold up a troll face sign or something because so many people on YouTube bash them. But I'm being serious. The Hue range has a diverse set of products which work really well and they allow some really accessible, really easy home automation, such as this smart plug example. But of course, there's downside here. For newcomers, of course, the price is going to be an issue. If you don't own any Philips Hue products already, you'd have to shell out on a Hue bridge and a Hue smart plug and a Hue dimmer switch, which could end up costing you $100, which obviously isn't ideal. So I wanted to explore other options. Firstly, instead of using the Philips Hue smart plug, you can buy another Zigbee-based smart plug, such as the one from Inner. 
This works out at $12.50 less than the smart plug from Philips Hue. Although the fact you get two in a pack means that you actually end up paying a little bit more overall if all you want is one smart plug. But if you wanted two and you're happy with the inner option, well, this will work really well because it can be added to the Philips Hue app as normal and it can be controlled with the Hue dimmer switch in the normal way because it's all just Zigbee based. It works really well via the Hue bridge. The inner smart plug is really highly rated and it's got all the usual features and voice assistant integration that you would expect. Of course, one downside of the inner smart plug is it doesn't support Bluetooth, which the Hue smart plug does. So moving back to Philips Hue land, can you use a simple Bluetooth remote, just such as this one, to act as a remote control for your Hue smart plug? Well, this cost me under three pound in, on eBay and it can be used to take photos and cameras and smartphones. But unfortunately, it can't also be used simply as a remote for the Hue smart plug. This is because after experimenting a bit, the Hue smart plug is essentially a closed product. There's no button on there that says pair. Okay, so it can't be used to easily pair and auto connect to other devices like you get with a smartphone or even a car. This means that a Bluetooth remote can't freely be used with the Hue smart plug. In Bluetooth mode, the only official way of controlling the Hue smart plug is with the Hue Bluetooth app. Unofficially, whilst the Hue smart plug does naturally expose itself as a Bluetooth low energy device, meaning that you can use an app like NRF Connect to actually connect to it, none of the methods of controlling the smart plug is actually obvious. Now, there are some third party Philips Hue Bluetooth clients on GitHub, programming clients which allow you control over it, which can even be run from a laptop as long as it's got Bluetooth, but there are two general issues with this general approach. Firstly, the Philips Hue Bluetooth API is unofficial. They never openly advertised it. And like the main Hue API that's really well documented. This means that integration with the smart plug over Bluetooth is potentially unreliable and subject to change. Secondly, this is all a bit academic or technical. If you want to use a simple Bluetooth remote such as this, you can't. This wouldn't know how to interact with the Hue smart plug to turn it on and off. You'd actually need a much more expensive programmable Bluetooth device or remote which can pair with devices and almost be programmed. Or you need a Bluetooth enabled device in the middle, such as a Raspberry Pi or laptop to capture the Bluetooth button presses on this and then control the Hue smart plug with the clients I mentioned earlier. But at this point, you're better off going down the main Hue uh, bridge route and using the dimmer switch or using a smart hub, which I'll talk about later. So is the Philips Hue ecosystem the only way of doing this? Well, no. Firstly, if you were lucky enough to buy an echo button before they got discontinued, that is, these can actually be used to kick off Alexa routines. And Alexa routines can be used to turn smart plugs on and off. I've tested it, it does work. In other words, a smart button, which is Alexa compatible, could be used to control any Alexa compatible smart plug, including the Casa and Godun, Gozund sorry, smart plugs, which are under $10 each. So that would be quite a cheap option. But the big sound downside here, of course, is that the echo buttons no longer exist. They got discontinued. And there's very, very few Alexa compatible smart buttons available, which just work out the box with an echo. Most need extra hubs or extra hardware, which is expensive. One option is the flick buttons, which re recently added Alexa routine support. However, these require the purchase of a separate hub to make everything work. And thus the overall cost, as you can see on the screen here, would be substantially higher than the Philips Hue option, even if the flick buttons are pretty cool. Right, all this talk of programming Bluetooth APIs and using smart buttons with uh, might make you think of an obvious question to ask. Can't you just use a smart hub to get a smart plug with a remote? And the short answer is yes, of course you can. If you already have a smart hub, this is probably the easiest option open to you and cheaper than using Philips Hue stuff. There's many, many options here, of course. You could use RGB Genie remotes and pair this with Hubitat or SmartThings. Then you can pair a smart plug with the hub as well and then link the remote with the hub. And then this would work so you can use the remote and the smart plug to control each other. And this works just like the Philips Hue option I demonstrated earlier. Or you can combine a Lutron Pico remote with a Lutron Cassetta bridge and then pair the Lutron devices and also a smart plug with a compatible hub such as Habitat again. Or you can use Home Assistant or HomeBridge and drive things via HomeKit 
or Google Nest. To be honest, there's tons of different options here. You just need to make sure that everything, the remote and the plug is compatible with the hub. If you already are experienced with smart homes and you own a suitable smart hub, this will be the best option for you. After all, why would you go out and buy a bunch of Philips Hue products in a Philips Hue bridge or hub when you already have a smart hub? However, if you're brand new to smart homes, going down the smart hub route will be expensive and confusing at first. So that just about wraps up today's video. In short, if you're new to smart homes or you already have a Philips Hue bridge, Philips Hue smart plug and dimmer switch will be the most convenient and cheapest option shown, open to you. As I've shown earlier, it works really well. There's no delay between pressing the button on the remote and the smart plug turning on and off. It's all really quick. It's all really seamless. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.